Hi, and welcome to my knitting podcast. Um, so if you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm, I'm living in Sweden in a town called Erebro. It's not a huge city, but it's not a small city, so in between. Um, yeah, I'm a knitwear designer uh, and I work with uh, crafts in different ways. I'm living with my husband and our dog Eden, who is eating right now, so I don't know if you can hear that in the background, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so it's soon June, which is crazy. I say that in every episode, I think. Um, but it, it is crazy that it's June right now. Um, not right now, but soon. In a few days, it's June. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, feels weird and everything. Uh, and I just realized that I um, didn't record an episode last week, uh, which I should have. So I, I've not quite gotten into this uh, new routine of uh, filming a video um, once a month, you know, so it's easy to forget, but I'm gonna write it down in my in my bullet journal so I remember next time. So this is a, a bit of a late episode, but I um, think it's it's fine. So this is the episode for May. Um, my main knitting and sewing and embroidery actually because that's something that I've been doing um, so yeah welcome to my corner of the internet of YouTube and this is my office space I'm sitting right in front of the window and outside it's lovely and it's half past six in the evening which is wild because I can film now uh, it's not too dark which is weird um, but it's very nice to be able to record a video so late. So yeah, uh, I'm thinking that I might do, yeah, I'm gonna talk about some knitting uh, and some embroidery and uh, some sewing. And one thing that I found on uh, second hand that I just have to show you. Okay, so I have three, three finished objects. Um, I don't know if I had the the first one last time even maybe I did but I'm gonna show you anyway so this is my Mara sweater um, and this is a color color work joke and uh, then it's just regular sleeves and a short cropped body um, and in the color work it's um, it is texture texture. I can't say that word. Sorry um, But yeah, so you have some um, uh, Pearl stitches in the color work. So um, Yeah, I think I, I think I talked about this last time actually, but I haven't um, I haven't <laughs> Woven in the the ends yet because it's it's been hot and this is a warm sweater. So um, Yeah, but it's being test knitted right now um, Which is very nice uh, and I am very eager to to release it. Uh, maybe it's in the middle of the summer when I do that, but you know, it's nice to get a start on on the autumns, the autumn knits. So this is my Mara sweater. It's knit in Leilu from uh, from um, Gotland Spinneri, which is a magical yarn. Uh, it's the same as Sork that my Valkyria cardigan is knitted in, but this is the thinner one and it's magical. So I love it. Yeah, that's the first one. And I think I, I talked about that before. Uh, the next one is a shawl and I don't do many shawls. I have one and Gerbura, which is a, a very basic, you know, uh, everyday kind of shawl. Uh, and I love it, but it's not, uh, it's not that summery, so I wanted to do something. Uh, sorry, it's a motorcycle here. I really don't like motorcycles. It's not my thing. Uh, but yeah, so I wanted to do kind of a light and airy and maybe a bit more structure and um, um, yeah, something else. Just not, not just like plain knitting stockinette or garter or something. So I made this one. And this is a cable and um, cable and lace. <laughs> Sorry, I just blanked. Uh, shawl. So it's made out of 
cables and lace. So you have these eyelets uh, and then you have these quite long cables. So yeah, and it's increased. You start here in the in the edge and then you increase, 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 um, a slow increase. And then you reach the middle point and then you decrease the rest of the shawl. So yeah, I'm very happy with this one. I really like that it's kind of small. You can wear it over your shoulders uh, or you can absolutely, if you, if it's a cold evening or something, you can, sorry, I haven't woven in the ends in this one either. You can just wrap it around your neck if it's cold in the evening. Um, you know, you can use it in various ways. And I think it's going to be great for autumn as well. So like early autumn, it's perfect. Um, and you can, of course, make it huge if you want to. Or you can make it tiny if you want to have it in your hair or something. So, yeah. So this is a cable and lace shawl pattern that I haven't decided on the name yet. I have, <laughs> I have one suggestion for a name, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. So, yeah. So this is soon out for testers. Um, and it's knit in wool and twines yarn heritage which is amazing and it's the undyed version of that yarn uh, and i'm loving it and the halo is just beautiful on this one yeah and it's very very good with cables and um and lace actually the yarn i mean so that's my second finished object and then I have a third which is I just blocked it today and I just <laughs> hung it over my um, armchair here so I'm just gonna pull it off here so yeah this is uh, this is my newest one uh, and it's a it's a sweater in Nutiden it's made on very big needles two strands and it's a, I think you say rosetude, 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 um, like structure pattern. And of course you can make it in, as I have done here, in the same color and you get a very subtle look. Uh, or you can make the, the structure in another color or con contrasting color or something just slightly uh, different from the, the main color, which would be amazing. I'm really itching to get to cast on another one, but I don't have the time, I think. Um, but yeah, so it's a cropped one and it's um, just a regular sleeve. Um, yeah, and I'm very, very happy with that one. I have been wanting to make something with it, that yarn. It's the color is Wagen Hem from Nuted and Yarns and or Hönner and Eid. <laughs> Um, and it's very beautiful and I love the, the color, but I haven't known what I wanted to do with it uh, before now. So I'm very happy to have uh, a design, my first design actually in Nutiden uh, on its way. So it wants to get up in the... Hey, hey pretty. Oh, she just wants to... I think she was just want to sit in my lap here <laughs> so she's really big now you know hey she's just um like one and a half soon um so she's starting to grow up and it's it's going so fast it, I, I can't believe it's i can't believe that she's over one year old um and you know by the time they're two um they count as adults and they should have you know the teenage time <laughs> should be passed by then um, but we don't think that she's she's not an annoying teenager she just have her quirks yeah okay so enough talk about Eden she has an Instagram account if you want to follow her uh, it's called Eden.sjösvärd.fanclub so you can find her on Instagram um, yeah she has a lovely account Okay, so on to some... <laughs> you smell like food because you ate a lot of food. 
On to the ongoing projects. I have a few. I have been uh, casting off, a uh, binding off uh, a lot of projects. So I, I am in like in between things right now. I'm waiting for some projects to start and I'm waiting to get it okay on, on some things and you know so I'm in a limbo <laughs> kind of but uh, I'm working on one thing that I will release this fall so not this summer and I think that these sweaters that I'm showing you now uh, they will release in the late summer or early fall uh, so because it's it, it doesn't make sense to release a sweater pattern for you know a really thick sweater in the middle of the summer I think I don't I don't I'm not gonna make promises or or anything but you know I'm thinking maybe I'll wait for the release until this fall Do you want to jump down it's a bit hard to show things when she's in my lap okay so this is a, a very <laughs> very thick one so this is not going out until uh, the fall maybe I will start the the test knitters um, I will release the, the pattern for test knitting maybe in like August I think yeah uh, and that is my dog walking sweater it has a name actually but I'm not gonna say uh, but I have finished the body sorry it's just rolling up here so I finished the body and I started the sleeve and it's going really quickly uh, because I'm knitting on 6.0 millimeter needles so you know yeah it's really a, a very quick knit uh, because it's on three strands of um, platelopi uh, and if you don't know the, the the story behind this sweater it's uh, I made like the same kind of sweater but in two strands of uh, platelopi um, a few years ago um, I made that a few years ago and then I didn't use it for a long time and then we got Eden and I used it almost every day and I use it like still every week uh, if it's cold outside when we're going out for a night walk or it's cold in the, in the morning when I go uh, out for a walk with her or if you're sitting outside eating dinner sometime at my mom's house it's a bit windy you know it's a bit cold so I throw it on it's perfect and I love it um, but I wanted to make a version that it's that is really thick <laughs> and warm so I'm making one with three strands that I can use as a, a jacket almost in the winter and I'm calling it my dog walking sweater um, but I have a name for it as I said but I'm not gonna tell you until later so it's a very ri um, sorry <laughs> it's a very long raglan um, increase and the neck is high and I'm um, I don't want it to be so tight so when I block it I actually pull it out a, quite a bit uh, I just want it to be like high and wide so if I want to I can have something under like a polo uh, or I can have a small scarf or if it's really cold I can have a, a scarf around my neck so yeah I'm very very pleased with this when I tried it on and it's really cozy um, I'm longing to block it to to see how it uh, blooms so yeah, uh, and I'm making it in, in the same color as my first one actually because it's the perfect color uh, for going in dog walks and maybe, you know, have, having to pick her up or something or when we go in our dog courses, we we are outside. So it's good to have a sweater that it's that is dark um, so you don't have to worry to stain it. Yes, that is one ongoing project. And then I have one that I'm gonna start very soon because I want to wear it <laughs> and that is my boo sweater and I this is actually finished and uh, the sleeves are perfect but the body I made the body to fit my wedding dress which had a really high waist and you know a very tapered waist so I want to um, unpick the the bind off and then add like maybe five centimeters to the ribbing um, at the bottom because I want it to be a bit more relaxed uh, and not so cropped that I you know I want to be able to wear it comfortably 
comfortably. <laughs> um, so yeah, and I'm very excited to do that. Um, it shouldn't take that long, even if, if it's, I think it's 2.5 for the, for the rib, but you know, if I just knit it in front of the TV some nights, I think it's gonna be just fine. So yeah, I'm gonna lengthen this one a bit. Okay, so another ongoing project is um, this one. I bought some wool, some, I bought a lot of wool at uh, Four Festival this year, which is a, a yarn festival or a sheep festival in Värmland, uh, where we work. <laughs> so um, I bought this wool, which is amazing. And I just, I just wanted to have something to, um, to show you. Of course, this isn't everything that I bought. I just wanted to have something done so I can show you uh, the amazing color. I don't know why I didn't buy four hecto, four, 400 grams of it. I just bought 100 grams um, and I can't find it on their website, which is a shame. Maybe I will email them and ask if they have more of it. Um, but yeah, so otherwise I have to do some kind of joke design um, with this as a contrasting color and something else as the main color. But you know, it's amazing and I love it. Um, it's so rich. It's very silky uh, because it has Gotland fiber, it's, uh, fibers in it. So yeah, this is the first skein that I made. Beautiful. Okay, and then I have some embroidery because I have... Um, we have a project this summer where we have to talk about embroidery with youths <laughs> um, and we are going to talk about it's called landskapssommar uh, in Swedish but in English I don't know like it's it's a different kind of embroidery style for each of not each but for a few different parts in Sweden that's the best way I can do it um, and uh, and this is not particularly this is not the the different parts of the country embroidery styles but you know uh, i wanted to make some wool embroidery to you know get into the vibe so i made a tie-on pocket this is not finished but i have finished the embroidery on it uh, so i made some flowers uh, this is called possum in uh, swedish and this is uh, like a braid stitch um, yeah and I made my initials and the the year uh, which I always do so it's a wool fabric and then it's a uh, wool yarn that I have embroidered on this and I chose a very me <laughs> color um, palette because I wanted to go to go together with most of my clothes and I'm wearing mostly like um, or burnt orange or black or yellow or green or you know blues so it goes together with everything I think uh, I'm very happy with it um, I don't know I don't have a band for around yet I have to buy that and then I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna fold it and in the top and then just add a add a band I think or maybe I will do like a fold over thing so you can no I don't think it's nice yeah I will most likely fold this and add a band to it so I can tie it around my waist so yeah I'm very happy with it that one and it's really fun to embroider again it was a long time ago it was so much fun that I made a wallet for myself. So I had um, an em embroidered wallet before, but it it's really old. Uh, I made it a lot of years ago, and it's also got a lot of wear and tear on it. You know, so I made a new one. The, so this is my new wallet. This is some wool. This is a wool um, application embroidery. And then I made my initials and the year on the background. And then I added a zipper. And in, on the inside, it's a, just a fabric I had at home, which I thought 
went together with the, the outside. So yeah, it's kind of like the same, not the gray of course, but it's the kind of like the same color scheme. So yay, very happy. Then I made a skirt that I'm very happy with. I have it on me, but I don't, I can't stand up here right now. So I'm gonna add a video uh, here that I, yeah, when I wore it. <laughs> and I'm really loving it. And I have ordered some more fabric that's, that's um, blue and white, so I can make another one just like it. I love the pockets on this one. Uh, I don't know why I haven't made these kinds of pockets before, but I'm in love, okay? I'm just gonna make these kinds of pockets now, I think. So, okay, so we come to the end. Sorry, it's a, it's a bit of a short episode today, uh, but you know, it's evening and I have to feed myself soon. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping that the, the next one will be a longer one. Uh, I found a really beautiful, uh, what do you say, mat, <laughs> wall mat, wall hanging, um, on the second hand store here uh, nearby a few weeks ago and I just wanted to show you because it's beautiful. Uh, I haven't hung it yet because I don't know where I'm gonna put it, maybe over there actually. But it's in the corner, it's it's not uh, fair for this <laughs> beautiful craft to be hung in a corner. But yeah, so it's um I believe it's I believe it's twist sum, which is a very nice technique that I haven't tried, but I want to. Um I don't think that it's very hard. I just have to learn to stitch. And then I'm gonna make something like this, I think. So it's just fabric on the back on the back and then it's got this beautiful hanging but yeah so this is something that I picked up just I think it was like maybe a hundred Swedish crowns which is not a lot thank you so much for watching this episode and I'm hoping that you have a nice spring and summer uh, for summer we call it in Swedish like a pre-summer um, in May because it's been such a lovely weather and I'm spending so much time outdoors. I'm trying to be outdoors as much as I can just to smell the flowers and you know yeah it's a, such a short time um, this pre-summer so yeah I'm hoping that you have a lovely time and that you have a lots of knitting mo mojo. I always have a lot of inspiration and uh, knitting mojo uh, this time of year which is weird because it's warm um, but you know I knit like a maniac <laughs> so it's coming a lot of uh, a lot of designs are coming during the summer and the fall uh, and winter of course so I have quite a lot planned uh, but yeah so stay tuned for any updates about patterns and everything on my Instagram account that's that is where I'm most you know frequently posting so if you want to hang with me you can <laughs> go over there and give it give it a follow um yeah and if you if you're not subscribed to this channel yet but listening to my podcasts please please consider subscribing it means a lot to me and um yeah it's harder to grow here on youtube than on instagram i think so uh, i will i would very much appreciate a follow here as well so and let me know in the comments down below if you watch until the end um, you can insert a little flower emoji if you stayed until the end and uh, yeah I will see you next time in the next podcast so have a lovely day and evening and morning or wherever you are in the day when you're watching this and happy knitting bye